Hey guys, uh, so today I am going to be doing my October favorites. I haven't done a favorites video since May, so it has been a while uh, since I've actually sat down and talked to a camera. So yeah, let's just jump in. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is this face wash. This is the Biore Deep Pour charcoal cleanser and honestly this is one of the best cleansers that I have ever used. I am a huge fan of Biore uh, face cleansers and products actually I, like I just I love this line but the charcoal cleanser is the best one that I've used and it just it makes your face feel so clean and it's got like a tingly feeling when you clean your face. And yeah, I just love this and I recommend this to anybody who has, I guess, my type of skin, combination skin. I find that it works really well for combination skin. And yeah, if you guys are in the market for a new face wash, then I definitely suggest this one. And yeah. Uh, the next things that I'm going to talk about are going to be makeup products. And the first one I want to talk about is a palette and it is the Naked 2 Basics palette looks like this. It has definitely got some more taupey kind of shades I would say. Like they're definitely on the cool side from here out. Then they have a warm brown right here and a black and I think actually I, that's not really black. It's like a dark brown. But yeah I really 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 like this palette. I think that it is perfect for travel. I brought this home with me for reading week and honestly, it was all I really needed. Super pigmented, and yeah. If you guys were looking for an alternative to buying an actual Naked palette that's cheaper, I would definitely suggest this one, or I would suggest the Maybelline The Nudes palette if you were looking for a drugstore version. But either way, I like both of them, but this one is the one that made it into my favorites. Uh, the next uh, product that I wanna talk about is the Anastasia Anastasia, Anastasia uh, Brow Powder Duo, and mine is a medium brown. I use this on my eyebrows pretty much every day. It comes with these two colors, so a lighter color on the left and a darker color on the right. I usually take the lighter color for the front of my brows and the darker color for the back of my brows, and honestly, I just love this product. However, it is really expensive for what it is. But it did last me a really long time. I've not even hit pan on it, and I've had it for a pretty long time now. But a good dupe for that, actually it's not really a dupe, but a cheaper eyebrow product would be the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit, which I recently picked up and absolutely adore. It is kind of like a dupe for the uh, Browsings palette from Benefit, which I actually don't like. Um, but I do really, really like this palette. It's got a... Uh, like gel? Not gel. Wax. It's got a wax right here and then the brow powder on this side which is definitely on the warmer side however I find that it just works really well. I think that this is great. It costs four dollars so you can't really go wrong compared to the browsings which I think is also thirty dollars uh, which is how much this is. Um, but yeah, I definitely really love this. If you guys are looking for a cheap way to fill in your eyebrows, I would say this is the way to go. Um, and yeah, it's definitely a favorite. I've been alternating between the two, and I just, I love them both. So, it depends on your price range and how much you're willing to spend on brow products. But, that is that. <laughs> Keeping on the theme of MAC, I have also recently picked up these MAC pigments. They're just the little, little baby tiny ones. But I really like these. I've never used pigments before and honestly I really like them and I would be definitely willing to try out more because I think that they're just really cool and they add like a different kind of look to your everyday eye. And yeah, I thought that they were really fun and they're really pretty colors. I have this one which is an old gold which is obviously as it sounds a gold shade. And then I have this one which is in the shade Melon which is a orangey peachy kind of color and I definitely have used melon more than I've used old gold but I think that they're both fantastic. Last makeup product that I would like to talk about is something that you are probably all very familiar with now because I've used it in definitely more than one video 
and it is the MAC Please Me Lipstick, which is a matte lipstick, and it is just a nude rose pink kind of color. I will swatch that. Looks like this. And honestly, this is probably my go-to lipstick for every single day. Whether I am looking dressed up, whether I am just leaving the house for class, it doesn't matter. This is the lipstick I grab. It's so versatile. I almost said controversial. I don't know why. It's not controversial at all. <laughs> um, but it is definitely a versatile lipstick. It is beautiful and I have a thing for matte lipsticks, so that definitely sold me on this one. So yeah. So now I'm going to move on to more random favorites and the first thing I wanted to talk about are candles. Are in fall I am obviously burning candles because who isn't? And the first one I want to talk about is a cheapy one and it is from Target and it is in the scent Cedar and Clove and it is apparently limited edition which I didn't see before. I may have to get more of these but it just smells so good. It smells exactly like what it sounds like, Cedar and Clove. Um, and it's just that perfect fall scent. It's warm, slightly musky, and yeah, I just really like this. And then the next candle that I wanted to talk about, I was actually burning not that long ago, so it's still warm. <laughs> and it is the Bergamot Woods Bath and Body Works candle. This is the three wick one, and as you can see, I am actually almost done it, and I bought this not that long ago. but. It just, it smells like a man or something. All my roommates know when I'm home because they can smell this candle because it's really strong and they always come into my room and they're like, it just smells so good. So we all love this candle and I am honestly buying another one once this one is finally done. And honestly, my favorite Bath and Body Works scent of all time. It is phenomenal. I, I love it. Speaking of scents, my favorite, uh, <laughs> just that went bad really fast. It just, we're going to try that again. Speaking of scents, my favorite scent for the month has been the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy La Fleur perfume. This bottle is huge, just like the size of my head. Not only is it super cute packaging, but it smells amazing. It's got a very fresh floral scent, which I mean, obviously, if you're not into florals, you're probably not going to like this, but I definitely like floral perfumes, and this is the one I've been reaching to pretty much every single day. As you can see, I'm almost out of it, but I have actually had this for a pretty long time, um, so it does definitely last a long time. I think I got this for Christmas last year, but I definitely adore it. I wear it almost every day, and you can't go wrong with how cute this packaging is. Like, there's a freaking bow on it. My favorite book slash movie for the month of October is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. And I actually saw the movie before I read the book. Um, so I did know what was going to happen. The movie blew me out of the water. I adored it. And sadly, I was forced to go to this movie <laughs> by my roommate April. Um, and I left flabbergasted it was so good and I can't even tell you most of the book because it ruins all of the surprise <gasps> there's a thing I'll read the thing inside the book <laughs> it says on a warm summer morning in North Carthage Missouri it is Nick and Amy Dunn's first first fifth wedding anniversary presents are being wrapped and reservations are being made when Nick's clever and beautiful wife disappears as the police begin to investigate, the town golden boy parades a series of lies, deceits, and inappropriate behavior. Nick is oddly evasive and he's definitely bitter, but is he really a killer? So if that didn't sell you, I don't know what will because this book is amazing. <laughs> Another random favorite that I have is actually the new Taylor Swift album 1989. I always want to say 1898 or something. I don't know. I always want to mix up the numbers, but that's just not how that works. Um, if you guys haven't already listened to it or bought it, it you have to. It is, in my opinion, one of her best albums of all time. The song Style, uh, the song Wonderland, and That's How You Get the Girl are probably my favorite songs off the album, and those are the ones that I would suggest you listen to if you aren't going to buy the album, because I think that'll definitely sell you on buying the album. 
but yeah I've been obsessed I've been listening to it non-stop I've probably annoyed the heck out of all of my roommates by listening to it so much but you know what oh well <laughs> the last and final thing on my favorites for October is actually my most favorite favorite it is actually kind of inspired by Harry Styles it is these boots they are from Target. Ignore how dirty they are. It's fine. I'm only gonna... Well, they are basically the classic boot that you see Harry Styles wear all the time. And I tried them on and fell in love. I am obsessed with these boots. I literally wear them every day. They are by the Morona brand from Target. And I am obsessed. They are so cute. It's a hair. Alright, so that is it for my October favorites. If you guys like this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, you could subscribe. The button is down there. I think. Up there? Down there. Wherever the button is, I think you should press it. And yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for videos that you guys would like to see, I am definitely open to suggestions. If you guys like these sit down and talk kind of videos, I can do more of them. And if you guys want to keep seeing different tutorials, if you guys have ideas for tutorials, I will definitely do them if you suggest them. I don't know why I did this. It's fine. It's whatever. <laughs> that is it. I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!